minutes away from the competition site is Dachon Harbor and the local fish market. Now these guys have been up since the earliest hours of this morning, bringing in the catch of the day and starting to auction off all of the fish. If you want to see what local life in Dachon is really like, this is the place to be. So we've seen the fish coming in on the other side, but this is something different. This is where the public can buy all of the fish. There is a ton of different stuff here. Some of the biggest lobsters I've ever seen in my life. And what's behind me, I think, is called a king crab. Can we take a closer look at this? Could you ask her if she can like pull it out? Yeah. Oh, this out from there. Meanwhile, back on the beach, the first skipper's meeting of the week got everybody amped up for the first full day of racing. The breeze kicked in in the afternoon and held on at six to seven knots, just enough for us to complete two full races. Defending world champion Maxime Nagé upheld his number one position in both races, but was feeling the pressure from Ricardo Lecchetti, who was clipping at his heels in second place. First place in both races. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It was a very tight fight at the beginning, and after, you know, it was quite cool. Mm -hmm. And um, I can manage to win this uh, two first racing of the day, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. And let's see if we can pick it up, because now the wing drop a little bit, so yeah. Let's see. Now Riccardo from Italy was right behind you in both races. Are you feeling the pressure a little bit from him? Yeah, he was quite good at the, at the beginning and uh, after, you know, it was like I have like 100 meter behind him. So I was quite confident and uh, I'm stopped pushing and just, you know, see him and, uh, and finish my race. We're happy to have had kites on the water today, considering the challenging conditions which clearly shows the incredibly high standard of riders at this event. And we can't wait to see more. <laughs> <laughs>